And that's the difference between creating subjects and heirs. An air quality soul will always forge, have the courage to forge their relationship directly through an experience. Whereas a subject will be impressed. Listen to words, they'll take some knowledge, filter off, but they'll be happy with a little. So when I look at the daddies and Baba, that's all they did. They gave us drishti. And because they were lost in the love of one, in that moment, we became lost in the love of one. What are the signs of someone who's stable in their avyakta stage? Baba has talked about two signs. One is that every act of theirs will appear unique. There's like this uniqueness that's visible in what they do. It's not ordinary. It's not familiar, it's not ordinary, but it's unique. Quietly unique. Something special in how they go about doing what they do. And the second is that they themselves will experience super sensuous joy in their activity. Action will not drain them. But there will be this experience of deep godly happiness no matter what they do. These are the signs of someone who's stable in their avyakta stage. 